Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you here okay? In your neck of the woods, so what up, what up? Manners and respect, man. I your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here, manners and respect. Happy birthday to all of you who, when you are watching this video, you're having a birthday. To those who your birthday have passed, happy belated birthday for the month of October. Now today we are going to be doing something so easy, a little bit, just something easy. We're going to be doing today some stovetop mac macaroni and cheese or mac and cheese. So... I'll show you what I have and how I'm going to be doing it. You can use literally any type of a pasta you want. These are some, you know, this type of like, this is how my pasta is. This is how it is. So I've pre-cooked it and I've not cooked it all the way through because I'm going to simmer it into this um, cheese sauce. Now, sometimes we want the salico macaroni. You know, I per personally... I love the baked one. I've got um, one there and I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you can go click on it to see if you would like to try that one. Okay? And I have not made these. I think this is my second or my third. I haven't made a lot of macaroni and cheese on this channel. I don't know why. But today we'll be doing a stovetop mac and cheese and I'll be showing you how I'm going to be doing mine. This is just my way. So I've got here some pre-cooked macaroni and I told you I haven't cooked it to the core. I cooked it like about three quarters of, a, of the way because I want to get it, um, you know, finish cooking in the cheese sauce. I've got some milk, which I do have some over here. So let me start pre-eating the milk. Bring it warm. Okay. Let's use another burner. Okay, so we have it like that coming up. So I've got here some mild cheddar. We did just um, shred these. In the interest of time, we did these. Everybody know how to cook pasta. And if you're using the pre-shredded or the pre-packaged shredded cheese, you go ahead. We use, we did our own shredding. I'm using some butter. I'm using a little salt because some of these cheese are really salty. And I did not cook the macaroni in any salt. I'll be using a little um, basil to gig, it mine, gig up mine a bit with a little flavor. I'll be using a little bit of a cornstarch and you'll see I do it. I've got here some mozzarella and I'll be using a little parsley to garnish. Did I say I'll be using a little cornstarch? Just a small amount to thicken. Okay, so I have the milk there and it's coming to eating up. So I'm going to put some butter. I might put about two tablespoons. This might equal to about two tablespoons of butter so you can use your butter and no, a no, special butter you just do your thing you know cheap butter expensive butter but try to use some good cheese though even better cheese than the ones i have i think the better the cheese the more successful taste you will get so we're gonna let this come melt and come whilst that is happening at this very point did i say i've got a peg of garlic here I'm going to gig it up with a peg of fresh garlic. So if you want to use a garlic powder, go ahead. So I'm going to grate my fresh garlic in there. I like garlic. I don't know some like garlic. But I'm not going to overpower it. So I'm just going to be using that amount of garlic in there. And don't tell me about gloves right here. My hands are clean and all of that. So this is here. And it's been heated. Melting our butter. And as soon as it's properly melted, I'll come back. So once your butter has been melted, you want to go ahead now and put in your um, mild cheddar or whatever your, your cheddar, whatever your cheese of choice. You don't have to use what I'm using, family. And you all know that. Come here, Jamaican, you know. You all over there, you have so many cheeses and some people... You know, they have it like that more than I do, but it's just my little way of doing that. So, 
you know this is a slow process of getting this all melt so you know want the thing forget to the, the, the heat forget too high that it start boiling you see so that is melting and we want to come now and we're going to put in our mozzarella so we have our mild cheddar in velveta i was looking for velveta but i could not find any that is a very good cheese to use okay so you know how to do this you don't do this on too much of a rapid eat you see this a little this just takes a little time you see the sauce is coming but you don't let the the heat be too high on it you don't want it boiling up on all of them something there is what me I say yeah now it's time to add a little bit of a basil I'm gonna be adding a little basil not too much just to get a little flavor of a mesh with the garlic and all of that this is so easy cheese is melting now it's time one tablespoon of cornstarch properly mixed in um, cold water and you're gonna add it and you're gonna stir as you go along continue to stir 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 now at this point I'll be putting in a little pinch I don't want a lot of salt of salt and that is equal to a small fraction of a tablespoon so you want to get it here constantly stirring all of that we're gonna stir it until it gets a little more smooth and then we'll come back to add in our pasta so you see our sauce is coming smooth this is the time now to just slowly add your pasta in just take your time and add it in and then we're gonna incorporate I've tasted family off camera and that fresh grated garlic and that basil it has given it a flavor to die for so you want to have it right now you just want to have it because what is going to happen we are going to leave it on the lowest of heat to let that macaroni that was not properly um, cooked let it just simmer and suck up all of this nice cheese sauce and all of that that is what we are going to do very lowest of heat right here we are going to leave it on the very lowest of heat so for about probably about five minutes and make sure that you have something that the bottom is really thick and all of that and me not and all that miss the camera girl face so what we are going to do now i've given it what i want so you're going to come back a few times to give it that extra steer also we're going to be adding a little extra grated parmesan at the end me soon come so we are right back now fam and you can see that these noodles have just mopped up all all of that nice sauce that we have so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna have this little extra um i did say parmesan in the in the prior clip but i meant mozzarella we're gonna turn the heat off right now and we are gonna just fold in this little mozzarella extra mozzarella yep and then we're gonna give it another minute or two and then when we return we'll just have some of this all plated up for you look at this We are right back at your family this is what we've got this is what it is so mellow you can see the smoothness you can see that and these noodles will just melt in your mouth with that nice cream sauce so at this point I'm gonna plate up some for you made mess but that's okay we can always clean our mess that's what it goes 
in the kitchen. Right back at you family, we have got a little parsley and we're just going to use just gently, not just to put over it for a little garnish because you can see, or oh, it's just, you know, it just by itself, right? So, so you just want to give it a little gig with a little dry. If you have green too, you can put it over it. Whatever you have, you can put a little, don't overdo it though. I think this is the perfect way. You can put a little um, paprika too. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach, it is Debbie's Easy Stove Top Mac and Cheese. Please do enjoy. Now, if you have liked this video, remember all I ask of you is to give me a thumbs up. Remember to make sure that you're subscribed to the Jamaican Cooking Journey. When you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell. And when you hit the bell, remember to press the option where say all. And I like that. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Remember, eat, meet, and greet. Check on my Instagram page. We are starting to take black cake orders right now. And all of that, there will be more cakes. But as soon as you get on to me, I've got a business number that you can call me for place your order and all of that. And that number is not to ask me for the black cake recipe. It's not. Okay? So let me make it categorically clear. I am not giving out black cake recipe. I am taking orders on that number. Okay? Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support once more. Remember to be you, do you. All the info that you need if you want to make a donation to the cooking channel or whatever channel. We'd be grateful and thank you. All that information on how to donate will be in the description of this video and all my other videos. Remember, I've got our little merch. Check out our merch store. Um, that's basically it. Remember to be you, do you. Most of all, love you. Some of this stove top mac and cheese. So easy.